AirTrack offers a full view of the glottis and guides the ET tube through the vocal cords without hyperextension. It's effective for difficult airway intubations and for emergencies. It's simple to use and easy to learn. Insert at the patient's midline, then rotate it up, away from the chest. Look through the eyepiece and identify the airway structures before full insertion. Gently manipulate the air track so the vocal cords are in the center of the image. Slowly push the ET tube. Watch it pass through the cords. Leave the air track in place while inflating the cuff and connecting the circuit. Remove by holding the tube and pulling it laterally away. Rotate the air track back and out of the mouth. The air track is individually packaged and ready to use. Match the ET tube and air track size to the patient's characteristics. Open the package and switch on. The light flickers for about 30 seconds while the anti fog system warms the lenses. Lubricate the ET tube and air track blade, keep the lenses clean. Insert the tube until the tip is even with the distal end of the guiding channel. In emergencies, the air track can be used during the warm up period. Insert along the patient's midline. To avoid pushing the tongue inward, fully insert the tip of the air track before rotating it up. Look through the eyepiece to identify the airway structures. If you can't see the landmarks, withdraw a little and pull up the air track. Do not insert too deep. Once in front of the glottis, align the vocal cords in the center of the view by twisting clockwise or counterclockwise. To obtain full exposure of the glottis and to facilitate tube insertion, it may be necessary to withdraw the air track slightly. In all cases, it must be lifted up. Slowly push the ET tube in without twisting. Only advance when the vocal cords are in the center of the image. If the tube hits any tissue or tends to go to the esophagus, withdraw the air track by rotating back and lifting it up so it's not too close to the glottis. Introducing it too deep can make inserting the tube difficult. To remove, grasp the ET tube, pull it laterally away from the guiding channel and rotate back and out of the mouth. AirTrack is a single patient use device and should be disposed of after use. To remove the batteries, pull off the viewfinder cover, remove the battery cover and the batteries. Discard as per protocol. Dispose the remains of the AirTrack as standard contaminated medical waste. The clip-on camera is optional and provides real-time color images when displayed on an external monitor. To attach, remove the elastic viewfinder and snap it over the viewing lens until it clicks into place. The camera can be used with a cable or with the optional wireless receiver. Connect the cable to the camera and external monitor. Turn on the camera and the air track. Intubations can also be recorded onto a VCR or laptop. Once intubated, remove the camera by lifting the clip and sliding off. Clean the camera after each use. Once the monitor and camera are ready, repair the air track and insert on the patient's midline. Observe the patient's oropharynx cavity. Continue insertion with slight movements, twist and lift up until the vocal cords are centered on the screen. Advance the tube by pushing until inserted past the vocal cords. Inflate the cuff and connect to the circuit. Then remove the air track. Air track is proven to be effective for difficult intubations in theater, ICU, emergency and pre-hospital treatment. It's simple to use and easy to learn. Air track, the easiest solution for challenging airways.